one of the old uh, atheistic arguments I, I, I've heard is, you know, they say, and I probably asked it myself over the a divinity teacher, who made God? You know, that's called a cosmological problem. Um, what's uh, where's the beginning? Huh? Who made God? Um, but though we can't answer that because according to our theory and it's a mystery because I've never encountered anything that's never been made before that's just existed that blows my mind and I, I don't understand it um, something that's eternal uh, of course our scriptures say and, and again you, you'll find this echoed in um, Islam and, and probably in the ideas behind um, you know Brahma and, and so on in, in Hinduism that God is eternal and has always been um, now you can point at us and say oh you see, you can't answer that, can you? It doesn't make sense, you know. And you just say, because it doesn't make sense, it can't be true, okay? But uh, atheism as a system has exactly the same problem. Now, say you say that it was, there was a Big Bang. Um, what do you say? Well, who made the Big Bang? What did the Big Bang come out of? Where was it from? What was it? What, what, what framework did it happen within? Where did the antimatter come from? Um, why was it there? And so all those questions that you could throw at us and say, well, it don't make sense, they're just the same. They're true, true of your system as well. Um, but we, we have a paradigm which, if it's true, works, that there's an eternal being who, who's just always been there. Um, yeah. In what did he exist? He didn't. He was everything. <laughs> now, it's hard to grasp and it don't make sense, but if it's true, um, yeah, at least there was, there was no, no, uh, no beginning nor, nor an end. Um, anyway, we have we share the same complex problem, so it's not one that you can just say we have it and you don't.